Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy JB with JB's Barbecue and Guns. Coming at y'all again today with another video. Today's special video, y'all. I'm so excited about this. I'm cooking on my new Conquer Grill setup. Let's go. I can't wait to show y'all how this thing works. If you haven't seen it before, okay? I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of cooks on this thing. So y'all just stay tuned. I'm going to show y'all how we set it up. I'm going to get the chicken and stuff ready because that's what we're going to be doing today. Then we're going to come out here and we're going to start cooking on the Conquer Grill. So let's go in the lab and get the chicken ready. All right, y'all. We got these two beautiful whole chickens right here. I've already taken the liberty of cleaning them out, washing them all, patting them down dry. Now all we got to do is season them up, all right? And it's not going to be real, real uh, complicated. All we're going to do is spray some olive oil on them like this. And all we're going to season them with, not going to be real complicated. Going to season them with some of my uh, AP rub right here. JB's all-purpose seasoning. Good stuff. I suggest you get you some. This big one right here is uh, $12 plus shipping. The little small one is $8 plus shipping. If you haven't got your some right now, you better get your some because they go fast, all right? So I'm going to sprinkle it with some of this. Just a light coat. Got some good uh, Texas seasonings in here. Salt and pepper, of course. All right. But it goes really well on everything you put on it. I can attest to that. And other people can too. All right. So now we're going to use some of this um, Cosmos Q Dirty Bird Dry Rub. Okay. This is pretty good stuff. All right. We're going to sprinkle that on there, and it's going to give it a great color, too. Okay, y'all, I'm so excited to use this thing like a kid in a candy store. All right. All right, y'all, so as you can see, I've got some of the spit set up right here that these chickens are going to go on. So hopefully I can get it on here on camera. So let's see how this is going to go. I hope I don't jack this up too much. <laughs> I'll probably have to re-season the chickens. But that's fine. But I just want to show y'all how this might go, okay? So I'm going to attempt to put it through the wings, all right? And through. Okay, that's pretty easy. It went in kind of easy right there. All right, cool. I'm going to get it in this thick part down here. See, I'm trying not to puncture myself because <laughs> the ends are kind of sharp. This end, I want to cooperate. There we go. There we go. Now, if I can get it through this wing right here, get it out and through. All right, that's pretty good. All right, here we go. So we got one chicken on. Now I'm going to attempt to get this other one on off camera. Then I'll go outside and I'll show y'all how we're going to set this conquer grill up for cooking. All right, y'all. I'm, I'm going to attempt to show y'all how to set this thing up. It doesn't seem too terribly complicated. It comes with this steak right here that you can uh, stake in the ground. Or later on, I'll probably buy the, the foot stand that goes with it so it'll be a, a little bit more level. But... You have to take this and pound it down into the ground. Just like that. Alright, that's sturdy right there. Now all you do is Take this one and put it over this, like that. It like like that. And you take this in and put it over that end. And this is the little piece where the motor goes in. So 
when I get ready to put the spit on, it's gonna go like this, whatever height I choose, like this. And then it goes in like that. And the spit is gonna go, uh, hey, I think I got that backwards. <laughs> so the, the adapter goes here. So you put that in the back. And you put the spit right here in the front and it comes with a little nut that you put the spit in here and once you get it all the way down you tighten the nut up and that'll keep the spit in place over the fire okay so we're going to go ahead and go get the spit and then we'll be finished setting it up then we'll get the coals lit then we'll get the chicken on all right so as you all can see we got the complete set up now all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the motor on for this thing right here. So you can operate it with a, a battery powered thing, or you can just do it in a cord like this and just turn it on with this knob. So let's see how it works. Oh, it's not working. Oh, let's see what we did wrong. All right, so I think I figured out the problem. That's a little notch inside the motor that you got to slide the spit directly onto it so you got to kind of feel around for it so let's see if it's working now and it is so you got speeds on here you can go low like this or you can oh look at that juice dripping out there yo or you can crank it up to medium or you can go really really high with it okay now it's advertised to hold up to about i think 20 22 to 25 pounds of meat on here. So these little chickens ain't nothing. I'm excited to do some bigger cuts of meat. And right now, this is pretty cool right here. Yeah. I'm excited about this, y'all. All right, y'all. We're about an hour in. And these chickens are looking good, man. I'm telling you, they got great color to them. Fire going really good. I had to lower this just a little bit. And uh, I had to have my my son to help me lower it down. But other than that, man, these chickens are going good. They look great. It smells great from that fat dripping down and hitting the fire, man. That smells awesome right there. That is, I mean, it's all. Awesome. And what I'm gonna do just to get this uh, skin kind of crispy, I'm gonna spray them down with this olive oil right here. So, you know, ain't nothing to it. But they looking good, man. And I guess we'll come back in another hour or so. I'm going to go ahead and hit them with this olive oil. Like that, so the skin can crisp up. But that's about it. Wait for it to come back around. Ooh, ooh, it's hot over there, boy. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> hit the back side. Like that. So I'll see y'all in about another hour, man. I'm loving this right here. I am loving it. All right, y'all, we're right at about the two hour mark and I tempt these uh, chickens out about a minute ago and, and they both tempted out right at about 104, 105 degrees. So we still got a, a ways to go before we reach 165 in the breast, all right? But one thing you can't do is you can't rush it, all right? But they do look good. They look awesome. All right, y'all. It's been about three hours now. And I just kind of want to get a temp on these things. Seems like they might be about ready, but let's see. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. We're not quite in the breast. We want to get to about 165. Yeah, not quite. That one's about one, yeah. So not quite, but they're getting there. They're getting there. So not quite, but they're getting there. Like I say, you can't rush it. So we're just gonna let the fire do what it do. I might just uh, let them rotate and stay on that side for about five minutes at a time, then rotate them again and see how that works. But it's low and slow, open fire cooking. So you just have to let it do what it do, all right? And I'll see y'all back when these things finish. All right, y'all, this chicken is done. After about 
three and a half hours of cooking, okay? So lessons learned about open fire cooking is just, this is real low and slow cooking. You can't rush it. I don't care what you put on there. And you can put more wood on there to kind of raise the heat up. But just like anything low and slow, you can't rush it. But I'm pretty sure these things came out great. I'm happy with them. They smell fantastic. I mean, they smell great. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and give this bird a taste test with this uh, JB All-Purpose Seasoning on it and that uh, Cosmos Q Dirty Bird on it. Y'all know I'm a wing guy. I'm a flat guy. So that's what we're going to taste. Mmm. 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 Wow. <laughs> that classic rotisserie flavor. That rub shines on it. There's a little, there's a little subtle kiss of the smoke. You might have seen a whole bunch of smoke coming up, but it just, it kissed this bird just enough. This is good, y'all. Real good. All right, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And as we always say, this your boy JB with JB's Barbecue and Guns. Saying y'all be easy. Peace. Be safe.